Hi, I'm Maggie, and this is my handmade home in New York City. I am a mural artist and interior decorator. I'm not a minimalist in any sense of the word. I love color, I love big patterns, I love big statements. So if I have a client who's letting me do that, then I'm absolutely gonna go for it. If I'm gonna be doing this for a living, you know, I gotta walk the walk and talk the talk. So I wanted to make sure that this space was totally me and totally mine. Um, okay, where should we start? <laughs> Favorite spot is definitely in the living room. I get the best sunlight in there, so it's a huge reason why I love that room. It's flooded with light in the morning hours. This is really my safe haven, my, my sanctuary. This is where I work every day. When it comes down to it, I'm a girly girl and I love the pink in there and it's bright and colorful. And so on the day to day, I'm in there with all my plants and my pink wall and I'm happy. It actually all started because of the rug that I chose in here. It has some really fun colors, pinks, oranges, blues, and I figured, okay, I'm gonna just pick some colors from this rug and incorporate a mural into the space. I've always been a plant lady. I've had lots of plants in all of my apartments, but this is probably the brightest apartment and brightest room I've ever been in, so I knew this is this is my chance. This is my chance to really make a jungle happen. And it's, you know, it's gonna be an ongoing continuation, but right now I'm doing pretty good. Welcome to my hallway. Let's talk about the hallway. It's like a rainbow of five colors and those colors actually draw in the colors of every single room in the apartment. So, you know, the pink stripe is pink from the living room. The red and the blue are red and blue from my bedroom. The black is from the kitchen and the yellow is from the bathroom. So it's the central point of the apartment and the colors in that mural are pulling from every piece. And so it kind of ties everything together. Honestly, it, I'll tell you what, it was because I had leftover paints. Like that was what I ended up choosing those colors for that mural. It was because I had paints left over from all the other pieces that I'd done. I was like, you know what? I got tons of paint sitting around. Let me just use what I already have. The reason that I wanted to do the mirrors was for two reasons. Um, first of all, to reflect the mural so you can see the mural through the mirrors, which is very fun. It almost like alleviates a little bit of the work on my end. Like I could have muraled the entire hallway, but that seems like a lot more work than just reflecting it. And it was all purposeful placement. So like this round is like reflecting this round edge. So like when you look in there, you see the roundness of that side. And this long one is here because of this like long piece. So it reflects perfectly. So there are, there was a bit of a method to the madness. And as you see this, there is a little bit of madness going on in here um, and probably in here too somewhere. <laughs> The other reason is that the, like I said before, the reason I love that front room is because it gets tons of natural light. And so especially in the morning, as the light is shining in really bright, it brings a lot of the light into this part of the apartment. So when I wake up, if I'm in this room, I still get some of that natural sunlight from the front room carrying all the way through because of the mirror. And it's also just kind of nice. Like there's this first big mirror and that's the mirror that as I walk out of my bedroom, so like if I need to check my hair on my way out the door or whatever, I've got a mirror there. Welcome to my bedroom. I really wanted to create like kind of a, a relaxing, more relaxing sanctuary. I love that my space is so colorful and lively and I want people to feel excited, but I did want to feel relaxed when I come to bed at night. So I chose some blue tones to kind of make it feel calm. So I did the headboard here because it's a tight space and I couldn't fit my old bed frame that had a headboard on it. And I really wanted to make these sort of fake sconces work. And so I kind of planned it all at the same time. So you can either install them on sockets on a wall that has light sockets, or you can leave the cord um, on the exterior, which is what I did. And I just have these little wire covers. So from there I figured, okay, how do I decide to paint around this? I didn't really want to paint over it because it could have looked weird on the outside of the plastic. So I decided, okay, I mean, I can kind of play with the width of this and make it work within this headboard. So I came up with this miniature arch series, um, but I still wanted to work in the blue somehow. So that's where the florals came in. This is my jewelry drawer. Tons of vintage earrings and stuff in here. Thanks to mom. These are from mom, those are from mom. How 80s are those? I looked at those, I was like, mom, can I take those? She's like, um, yeah, I don't want those. I was like, I love them. <laughs> she thinks I'm insane. 
Where is one of my favorite things? There it is. It's one of those things that used to clip um, cardigans closed or something, but I, I use it when I'm wearing shirts like this that have like a little collar because it kind of looks like a necklace. <laughs> Lots of fun things. All of the light fixtures in here were your typical, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say this, but as we like to call them, boob lights. I don't know if you guys are alive, I'm allowed to say that word. But anyway, I call them boob lights because they're like round and they have the little screw in the middle. So it looks, it does, you look up and you're like, that's, that looks like a boob on the ceiling. It was, I mean, every single place that you see a light, there was another boob light. So I was like, okay, this is just not gonna fly. And I've always just been fine with it in old apartments and I've never thought about replacing them, but I was like, okay. It was so worth it and I love how all of the lights look. It just gives such an elevated look to the space without spending a ton of money. So this mural, honestly, it was kind of a last minute decision. I hadn't really planned out any mural for this space specifically. I was open to it. It just wasn't something that I made a plan for until I saw things in place. And choosing the black and white was, it was really for two reasons. I already had black paint and the rug has a good amount of black and white in it. And I wanted this room right in the center to kind of have a little bit of that neutrality, knowing that there was gonna be a lot of fun colors happening in all the other places. Um, and I wanted the rug to be the hero. The statement in the kitchen is this rug, which is a rug I bought when I went to Morocco a few years ago. I love this rug. It's like a keepsake for life and it has a lot of amazing colors in it. So I just went with a black and white, you know, simple geometric situation, you know, and it just kind of connects around the window a little bit and it kind of leads you into the bedroom by ending right here in the corner. This mug my friend Rachel gave to me and it's the goddess of the home. Her name is Hestia, which my business name is called Nestia. It's about nesting and feeling settled in your space. Um, as I have obviously done, I have really nested into this apartment and so that was where the business name came up. So I love having her on display because she really was the inspiration toward, you know, the business that is now my, my career. So it's a little inspirational corner. Whenever I look over here, I know that she's watching over me, the goddess of the home. Like this video and subscribe to Handmade for more home tours just like this. Get this girl a TV show. Woo!